Hello. Uh, in this video, I will talk about uh, if this, if the new MacBook Air or MacBook Pro with M1 chip is good enough for research purpose. And uh, I will discuss about the software it supports. And then I will go for the people uh, who want to shift from uh, Windows to Mac. And then uh, should you update or wait? So let's talk about, uh, let's answer the question in short. Is the new Mac with M1 chip good enough for research purpose? Yes, it is definitely. Given that uh, the softwares you use are supported on the Mac OS and the new Mac, uh, MacBook uh, with M1 chip. Because uh, even in my field, uh, uh, different set of people use different set of programs, applications. So make sure uh, the um, softwares are supported. Next, uh, I am a physics student and uh, I use a quite a lot of, quite a lot of uh, MATLAB and uh, MATLAB is working very fine. In my previous videos, uh, you can see the latest officially supported version of the MATLAB, which is 2020B, the third update, uh, is running a little slower than the uh, 2020A version. Uh, that's what I see in my uh, benchmarks and but but both are working very fine and uh, I believe that if you compare with other uh, other laptops of any sort uh, at this price range and uh, this dimension uh, its performance will be great then uh, I tried to install uh, MATLAB MATLAB is working very fine and uh, I try to install Mathematica. The older version of Mathematica are not supported. It will install. I installed the 2014 version first. So it installed, but it did not run. Then I installed the latest version of Mathematica, which is probably 12.2 as it is available on the website. And uh, the trial, I, I installed the trial version and that is working very fine. Then console is also working fine. It is very smooth uh, and you can run console and MATLAB simultaneously. Uh, then let's go to Python. So Python, I tried to run Python using Anaconda Navigator and uh, Python is also working great. And uh, um, let's go to then the Xcode. So Xcode is available on the App Store. And if it is available on the App Store, uh, it must be definitely supported on the new Mac. So it is a big file around 11, 12 GB. And uh, but but it is working. I do not know much about Xcode. I do not use it, but uh, it got installed and it opened and it is working. I did, I did not honestly test everything about it. And then let's go to should you get a pro version or the MacBook Air uh, for your research purpose? So in MacBook Air, you have two versions, 7 core and 8 core. And it doesn't matter which one you take because uh, there is no much of a difference in the performance and the cost. So take whatever you want. Uh, uh, if you have a little more bucks and then uh, you go for the 8 core. It doesn't matter now should you go for the pro version or the air version so you must i suppose you must be uh, doing a lot of simulation and uh, uh, coding like matlab as i do and so in that case uh, if your codes are huge uh, and you need to run it overnight or for long hours then uh, go for the pro version because that has a fan in it and uh, it will save your laptop from heating up okay so in that case go for the pro version but uh, if you have if your codes are not very large and runs for a few minutes like in my case and then go for the air you, you can save a lot of money and get a lot of performance and uh, i personally for bigger codes i either use some a PC or uh, a supercomputer or something like that. So um, 
for normal use i only need uh, for normal use i use uh, matlab codes which runs for a few minutes at max and uh, in console so console is also working very fine now for people uh, which, who want to switch from windows to mac uh, i would say it is a great deal you can and you should switch from windows to mac uh, i earlier had a confusion about the screen size and i had thought that i would not go uh, less than 14 inch and i would uh, always want to go for 15.6 inch as i already was using a 15.6 inch laptop so in that case uh, this 13.3 inch uh, screen size will not let you down uh, because you won't notice much of a difference uh, because this 13.3 inch helps you focus on your say document you're working on and it is uh, rather great and uh, in 15.6 inch you have this much big screen and then you um, then your document shows up only in this much of the screen so I mean the utilizable portion of the screen is small so in that case 13.3 is more than enough you will only notice a bit of problem when you uh, split the screen and you say a document on one side and uh, you are making a powerpoint presentation on the other side uh, then you will notice a bit of discomfort initially but uh, uh, there is not much difference you can always adjust the size of the documents and the scaling uh, of Mac is pretty nice so in that case um, I mean it will work fine now I think I have discussed everything so in short the answer uh, is that you can get it for your research purpose only uh, take care of the fact that not all uh, softwares are supported on on mac os uh, and uh, and if it is supported on mac os it will now or in in near future it will be supported on the new macbook uh, with m1 chip also so just take care of that thing and uh, then you can decide well and uh, i have recorded this complete video on the macbook camera and microphone so thanks thanks for watching please uh, give your suggestions in the comments